So I've been thinking lately, I don't really share a lot of my creative process. I show tutorials and finished projects, but I don't show a lot of my in progress stuff. So I was thinking I would start uploading a few videos just showing me working on a project and see what you all think. So today I'm gonna to take you through building one of the patterns in my new winter collection. So you can just see how I get started, what I do throughout the process, putting the elements together, creating the colors. So let's do it. So I wanna note here that this is really just a process video. I'm not gonna be walking you through as I would in a tutorial but I do have tutorials on my whole process for this that you can find in the link under this video. So I like to start out by just dropping all of my assets on the canvas. I drew all of these in Procreate and then vectorized them. Then I can just add a little bit of color and start placing them into their repeat pattern form. So at this point, I'm really just popping some general colors on there. I know these aren't gonna be my final colors, but I do find it's helpful to start with some kind of basic color just so I get an idea of how this should be laid out in terms of big color blocks. Then I can start putting my repeat elements on the sides of the canvas. So here I'm just working on the top and left side of this pattern block, and then I'm creating a half drop repeat. So all of my repeat elements are dropped halfway down the canvas on the right side. I also realized it would be interesting to grab one of those snowflakes that's on the ornament and just pop that into the kind of blank spaces in the pattern. So I did that and then I just exported the pattern so I could take a look at how it was kind of laid out. So I do that a lot. I'll export and put it in a different document to just kind of get a bird's eye view. I do have that live pattern preview over on the right, but for some reason exporting it and looking at it like in a different app, like the Photos app really helps me. So once I get my basic repeat laid out, I can start playing with color. So here I'm just playing around with a few different ways to fill in those big color blocks. And again, I know I'm gonna change these colors, but I do tend to play around with color as I work. So for me, that's just part of my process. I wait until the very end to decide what my final version is gonna be. But in the meantime, I'll make 10, 20, 30 different color versions of the same pattern. Obviously, I'm not gonna have you watch me do every single one of those, but I just wanted to give you an idea of, you know, I duplicate the document and then I go in and make a totally different color version just to see what will happen. So here's my final color versions that I ended up liking the most. Probably the green is my absolute favorite. Again, I do show this whole process in my classes. So a good beginner class is working with vectors on your iPad. If you're not even familiar with how to do that, you may wanna start with that class. And there's links to all of those below this video. I hope you enjoyed watching my process and let me know if you liked this and would like to see more videos of me working. Bye-bye.